My name is Garrett Gardner, and you're watching Pop Stop TV. So tonight you were told no risk, no reward. What would you say are some of the risks you've been taking? Well, to take a Backstreet Boys song, A, uh, I've been telling uh, some in different interviews and my friends, and they said, oh, what song are you doing? I'm like, well, let's just say it's a song that you would not in a million years expect me to do. And it was a risk, um, like Usher and even Shakira said, it, it was out of left field, but to, to take a song like that and to transform it um, as much as I think I did uh, into my own style, I think it, it's going to help show what kind of artist I am and what kind of things I would like to do in the future in terms of style. Right, and so now putting your own twist on it, how do you think you do that in your own way? It's, uh, I mean, mixed with all of the different influences I've had in the past, you know, different, you know, different styles of, of the Black Keys, John Mayer, all these different people I've been compared to. It's really just, you take everything that you've listened to over the course. I mean, I was a huge Beatle fan uh, growing up. I did a Don Lennon song last week. So that was very daunting to just do in general. But to take all of those different influences and, and I finally, I hope, found my own style, it's just really, you, you almost try to figure out you, you try to not think of the original and just, just go, okay, if I wrote the song, what would I do? And that was that's what I do. <laughs> Genius. Well, that's how you sell records, right, these days? Absolutely. So now also, um, what do your rehearsals look like? How many hours are you guys rehearsing for before a show? It, you know, it depends. It's, it's kind of... It's crazy because, you know, after you get into lives, it's, it's, there's no break. You literally, uh, you go from the one live round and the next day you wake up and you start rehearsing for the next live round. So you get, a lot. there's a lot of rehearsing involved, but there's not that much time going between, you know, you got to do wardrobe, interviews, uh, the rehearsals, on-camera rehearsals, off-camera rehearsals, and it's just, it's so, there's so much that goes into it that people don't see, um, and it's so rushed, especially at this point, that you really got to be on top of your game, and if you're not, it's that's, that's when you go home. And so now does your team coach help you with that? Do they kind of mentor you through that process? Yeah, they, you know, especially Shakira, she kind of says that, you know, it's this is this is the time you have you have to utilize it and if you don't it's going to show so to get that from somebody like Shakira is is priceless advice and uh, I'm just honored to be able to get the mentoring but it's you know it's daunting at the least and so now if you were to go home tomorrow what would be next for you well, the first thing I, I would have to do is go home and talk to all my friends they've been so supportive and uh, put on some hometown shows and really show uh, my support for the people that have been supporting me but uh, hopefully uh, there will be some sort of tour involved this summer and uh, an album. I already have a lot of songs in the works, so uh, look out for that. So you're kind of multitasking. You do a little bit of both while the show is on. I think you have to. I think you have to plan for the future. I mean, there's only so much you can do when you're in this kind of situation. You really got to plan for the show. But like I said, there's so much that goes into stuff like this, even the things that you don't see. You have to be one step ahead of everything. And I think it's really going to show um, for me and all of the other contestants here that we all are thinking about what we're going to do after the show because it's not just what you do on the show, but it's what you do off of the show, after the show, that's going to really make who you are as an artist. Has anyone reached out to you so far in the industry to help you a little bit now? There's been a few. Uh, I have, uh, uh, well, people know him as Bobby Bowie from the uh, Howard Stern show. Uh, I had met him years ago, and he was uh, reaching out to various people that I've, I've met over the years, different producers. And, um, it's incredible to see all of the different uh, different things people are saying, just supporting me and wanting to work with me. And It's incredible. Hopefully we get a shout-out from one of the Backstreet Boys. That would be pretty sweet, so uh, look out for that. For more celebrity interviews, log on to popstoptv.com. Pop culture for the next generation.